What's up guys? I'm currently at the um, airport here in San Diego. I'm about to fly to um, San Antonio to start the uh, Texas part of the Jason tour. Had a nice couple of days off, just hanging out with some friends back in San Diego. Um, and uh, now we're gonna hit the road with Jason and uh, Jen and Tori for a few days uh, in Texas, four different cities. I'm gonna be driving in a van, it's gonna be fun. I've still got this like gnarly sunburn. It's starting to peel a little bit, a little bit uncomfortable. It's very early right now, so I'm like still waking up. Another day, another airport terminal. Well, just got to San Antonio. I gotta go pick up the uh, rental van for the tour, and I'm coming right back here to pick up Jason. It's nice and warm. It's quite nice, actually. Enterprise tried to give me like the absolute shittiest, dirtiest van possible. Like I opened the inside and it was just like, I, there were like blood stains on the seats and I was like, what the hell? Like you guys gotta be joking. So they're gonna go look and find a, a nicer one for us. Okay, van is officially picked up. This one's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer, a lot newer. It's even got like the new tag still on that front seat. So that's how you do it. Uh, definitely could not have a dirty van for this um, for this trip. So. Now I am heading back to the airport. Jason should be landing in the next like 15, 20 minutes. I did my my usual. I always make sure I buy um, fresh water when they land and usually I get like some nicer water. I don't do like the simple cheap water. Um, just kind of like something I always try to do for them because it's important to stay hydrated. So I'm just chilling in my hotel room. Um, everyone's settled in. We got the van. Um, our VJ is in town. Jason's obviously here, our support ladies are here as well. Pretty much now, I'm just catching up on emails for future dates and at about 7.45, I'm gonna head over to the venue, do sound check programming. I kinda like having this like flexibility of um, having some downtime before the show because it lets me, like in a hotel room, which is where I work, I wouldn't say best, but I work really well in a hotel room. It's where I can get so much work done and I can like be focused. And so this downtime gives me that opportunity to like dig through obviously tonight's show, which is already pretty much finalized, but then like all the future dates. And you know, with some of the future dates we have with Jason, we're bringing in bigger production and we wanna get quotes on like video walls, SFX, labor, things like that. And this gives me that opportunity, like this downtime to dig through those like fine details. All right guys, we're at Indie Coffee in San Antonio with the team. The team. The team. Trying some espresso from Indie Coffee, which was recommended by someone in the comment section. So here we go. Ooh, that's really good. Light, light roast. <laughs> Getting set up for the first night. Prevot, San Antonio, Texas. Just trying to get some shit that's supposed to be here that's not here. I'm in the bathroom. Austin, Texas, Terry Black, our man. Well, that guy's mad, he's in the He's off the rails. With no exhibit notes. Right. <laughs> you scared? I'm mm, quivering. <laughs> Shaking in my boots. Just got to Austin. Uh, here's my hotel room. I just like, I like to kind of show off what the rooms look like because they're always so different, but like, Got this full kitchenette thing right here, which is pretty, pretty neat. Full table, a seating area with the TV, like a living room, bed, of course, bathroom, no bathtub, but the shower looks nice. And then I got a little bit of a view, which is pretty neat. I'm getting loaded in for tonight. This is Austin, Texas. This is the kingdom. It's a big ass open room. 
So here's the general layout. This is where the stage is. You have uh, booth monitors on the side, also booth monitors flown, controlled, uh, wireless mics up there. Once we start the sound check, we'll confirm there's no feedback loops. Um, and we have, so this is like the main hall here, bar in the back, uh, four trusses with a variety of lights. The main entrance is over there where people come in. These are the merch boxes and they're gonna put tables for us and this is where the merch area will be. Well, that's actually pretty impressive, bro. The infamous Rainy Street Food Truck Center. There's our boy. got back from the club. It's uh, 2.45 in the morning, tired as hell. But tonight was the first night that we had merch for sale. And so I am now going through all the sales and counting up our inventory. I'm basically tomorrow we're gonna settle with the promoter remotely, virtually over email. Splits already negotiated, but like get our percentage of the split and then just talk about wiring. But I really wanna get this done tonight because I have to count in the merch tomorrow at the next venue and I just don't want to have to deal with worrying about shrinkage. So I'm going to be up for at least another hour probably. Our call tomorrow is 11 a.m., which isn't too bad. And then we have a drive to Austin. Or no, no, Houston. I'm sorry. We're already in Austin. That's how my brain is working right now. Well, that's it for Austin. Now we're going to Houston. Until next time. All right. We're at Houndstooth Coffee drinking tweed coffee. Here we go. Another slam dunk. Oh yeah, hitting up that pussies. Oh yeah. Feels really good out here. Well, it's quite a bit of ice cream there. They probably have some weird extravagant flavors. Okay, another hotel room check. This time we're in Houston. This is kind of neat. Nice lighting, shower, no bath once again, but whatever. Really nice open floor plan, massive TV. Love the, the backlights, the art decor. Is this a belly? Oh, I'm like right, oh, I'm right where the pool is, shit. Okay, um, okay. Well, that's, you know, privacy is not the biggest thing here, but that's okay. I love that corner couch. Tonight, we're at Stereo Live in Houston. Uh, 1400 person capacity. Just got the confirmation that we're sold out, so it's gonna be a great show. We're gonna have the upstairs open, the downstairs. There's our front of house, there's our boy Trevor. It's gonna be a really good night. Um, there's no, oh wait, there's some wood. Knock on wood, of course. to leave Houston, going to Dallas for a final show of this Texas leg. Giant leaf coffee. Kind of a vibe. The only downside about proper uh, sprinter vans like this is that they get pretty bad gas mileage. So we're back at our favorite location. Um, pumping them gas. We're like an hour and a half north of Houston now, heading to Dallas. Um, I'm thinking about taking these guys through like a historic town just to show them around a little bit. We'll see um, if they're into that. Yeah, this place is a madhouse. 
this shit. <laughs> All right, not gonna lie, this is a little trippy. This is like the hotel we're at tonight. Woo! That's, <laughs> that's pretty scary. Okay, it's our final night of the Texas part of the tour. And of course, I'm doing a little hotel room review. This is the Hyatt Regency in Dallas. It's like a, like a convention center or something. You know, pretty nice, pretty standard. No bathtub again. Kind of a neat little view right here. I don't know what part of town this is, but lots of highway, lots of green. And uh, yeah, I'm about to just sit, work on my computer. Got the advanced cuck chair here. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good night, I think. Man, I'm still tripped out about this like view slash balcony thing. Oh, I get like goosebumps tonight. I'm walking over here. Look at this, straight off. Crazy. I'm staring at Dallas tonight. Slightly different room, more narrow. That's officially the end of the Texas tour run dates. Um, I'm currently uh, walking out to the parking lot, gonna get the van, gonna get that cleaned out. Um, we're gonna get coffee all together and then head to the airport. And I'm going back to Seattle for like two days, two and a half days um, before flying out again for the next leg. Next week we have um, uh, New Mexico, Arizona, and San Diego. Should be fun. It's been, it's been a good time out here, really enjoyed it. We've still got this entire like collection of alcohol from the past couple dates. Shame about the 1942. I just need to know what these things are. I'm so curious. They're like the guardians of the hotel. 